We collide together 600 million of these every second. In every collision, we create the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. We take photographs of those 600 million collisions per second, and we find out this guy from 1965 was right. Beneath the tapestry of the Earth, both a testament to human innovation and a potential precursor to peril quietly thrives. The Large Hadron Collider stands as an emblem of scientific pursuit, facilitating investigations into the subatomic realm, and notably, unveiling the elusive God particle. Yet in a startling revelation, the eminent physicist Brian Cox has ushered in a frisson of apprehension across the scientific sphere. An unsettling find at CERN emerges, one that could bear implications we may not fully grasp. Could our insatiable thirst for enlightenment be inadvertently steering us toward calamity? Journey with us into the heart of this scientific conundrum. But to truly appreciate the gravity of this revelation, one must first comprehend the essence of particle accelerators. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, a 17-mile loop of advanced superconducting magnets, stands as CERN's crown jewel and the globe's most formidable of its kind. Spearheaded by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, this colossus epitomizes the zenith of human scientific endeavor. Its prowess is such that it can simulate the very circumstances surrounding the birth of our universe. But could this enigmatic instrument, conceived to decode universal mysteries, potentially be the harbinger of something darker? Established in 1954, CERN ranks among the globe's elite research establishments. Boasting a consortium of 23 nations and a cadre of brilliant minds, it is an epicenter of synergy and pioneering thought. While the LHC is CERN's magnum opus, it's merely a fragment of an expansive lattice of accelerators and investigative endeavors. Picture a racetrack, albeit not for automobiles or equines. Instead, it's a circuit for the infinitesimal, a grand dance against the very fabrics of time and space. Protons within the LHC are propelled to velocities nearing light speed, embarking on a collision journey reminiscent of the universe's energetic state during the Big Bang. These protonic encounters unfold with breathtaking rapidity, completing an astounding 11,000 revolutions per tick. Such encounters induce heat surpassing even the sun's fiery heart. A vast array of magnets choreographs this subatomic ballet, while sophisticated cooling mechanisms ensure their cryogenic states, even surpassing the icy vastness of space. The ensemble comprises 1,232 dipole magnets, guiding the proton streams, and 392 quadrupole magnets honing their paths. Just before these mighty encounters, another magnet variant congregates these particles, elevating collision probabilities. Orchestrating these impacts is tantamount to launching two needles from six miles apart, destined to rendezvous midway. The precision is staggering. The technology, unparalleled. The blueprint of the LHC exudes engineering genius. Twin beam lines traverse side by side, ensconced 574 feet underground, cocooned from earthly radiation. Within this chthonic realm, the entire apparatus plunges to a bone-chilling minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the cosmic void. This arctic ambience is pivotal for the optimal performance of superconducting magnets. Within the LHC, beams converge at quartet locales, aligned with four particle detection apparatuses, ATLAS, CMS, LHCB, each with a specialized mission, delving into diverse particle physics facets. Collectively, they function akin to immense photographic devices, seizing glimpses of these transient encounters. Researchers then meticulously scour the resultant detritus in pursuit of the elusive Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, and other esoteric entities, the universe's foundational elements. It's analogous to assembling a celestial mosaic, where each fragment is ethereal and the grand tapestry remains enigmatic, probing the minuscule Grant's vistas into the colossal. Yet every revelation begets a fresh enigma, and each breakthrough a nascent challenge. The LHC, more than a tool, is a monument to human inquisitiveness and creativity. It crystallizes our ceaseless odyssey for enlightenment and our aspiration to fathom the primal forces sculpting our cosmos. But in transcending the known, we must also grapple with the moral and existential dilemmas it engenders. What perils lie in delving into the abyss? 
Might our fervor for insight unwittingly unleash powers beyond our dominion? Within CERN's esteemed corridors, where the limits of human intellect are perpetually challenged, a revelation has emerged that sends chills through even the most veteran of scientists. Brian Cox, an erstwhile CERN researcher and a respected figure in particle physics, recently unveiled a declaration that has left the world simultaneously intrigued and apprehensive. The profundity of Cox's message is palpable. The objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to simulate a miniature Big Bang. Indeed, you understood correctly, a scaled-down rendition of the seminal event that birthed our universe. The physicist further elucidated the ramifications of this ambition, accentuating the LHC's immense potential for groundbreaking revelations. This encompasses its capability to decipher the enigma of the Higgs boson and to probe dark matter a perplexing substance constituting a vast chunk of our universe. Envision possessing the prowess of creation, the dexterity to evoke the universe's very quintessence. It's an alluring vision, but not without its perils. The notion of the mini Big Bang transcends mere theory. It manifests tangibly within the LHC. The thermal extremes, the pressures, the raw vigor, all emulate the cosmos's nascent conditions. It mirrors standing at time's inception, beholding the genesis of existence. Yet immense power beckons immense accountability, and an imposing query emerges. What if our machinations falter? Tragically, there was a grievous mishap. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky faced an ordeal that irrevocably shifted his life's trajectory. Engaged with the U-70 synchrotron at Protvino's Institute for High Energy Physics, a malfunction resulted in his head inadvertently intersecting a proton beam's trajectory. This beam, with incomprehensible might, traversed his cranium, entering from the rear and emerging through his nostril. Bugorsky's ordeal was surreal. He perceived a luminance surpassing a thousand suns, yet experienced no discomfort. The beam's trajectory wreaked havoc, scorching tissue and bone. Despite this, he remained lucid and even ambulated to a medical facility. The repercussions were both gruesome and riveting. The beam induced localized necrosis, culminating in unilateral deafness and partial facial paralysis. Yet, miraculously, Bugorsky's cognitive faculties remained unscathed, and his scientific endeavors persisted. This episode isn't merely an individual misfortune. It serves as a poignant reminder of the prodigious power and latent hazards of particle accelerators. The inherent risks of apparatuses like the LHC demand utmost respect. The prospect of unpredictable outcomes, the manipulation of space-time's very weave. These aren't the whimsies of speculative fiction, but genuine apprehensions articulated by sections of the scientific fraternity. The universe's mysteries are potent instruments, not mere playthings. Among the LHC's most riveting and disconcerting prospects is the potential birth of a minuscule black hole. Black holes, space-time regions where gravity's pull is so overpowering that even light succumbs, are the cosmos's silent devourers, enshrouded in mystery. The proposition that the LHC might engender such a phenomenon, albeit on a microscopic scale, evokes astonishment among laypeople and experts alike. Could this minuscule void burgeon unchecked, consuming Earth from its core? Although CERN's scientists assert that any emergent black hole would be ephemeral and dissipate rapidly, such a possibility has sparked discourse, trepidation, and wonderment regarding our capabilities. Grasping how the LHC might forge a black hole is vital. This stems from the core dynamics of particle accelerators. As protons clash at velocities nearing light speed, the resultant energy outburst is so colossal that it distorts space-time's fabric. Picture a tautly stretched trampoline upon which a weighty object descends. The fabric contorts, depresses, and if the burden is substantial enough, it could forge a chasm potent enough to ensnare nearby entities. In the realm of quantum physics, where the universe's laws teeter between the bizarre and the sublime, a theory suggests that extra dimensions might be woven discreetly into our reality. Should these dimensions truly exist, collisions within the LHC could tap into them, forging a gravitational vortex that births a minuscule black hole. Such mysterious interplay of particles hasn't escaped the notice of renowned scientists, notably the late Stephen Hawking. In his book Starmus, he cautioned about a potential scenario, the Higgs boson becoming unstable at heightened energy levels. 
Such instability might usher in a devastating vacuum decay, a cosmic calamity that would obliterate not just Earth, but the vast expanse of the universe itself. The venerated British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees vocalized his reservations about the experiments at CERN. In On the Future, Prospects for Humanity, he delved into the possible perils of particle accelerator experiments, CERNs included. His cautionary reflections bore an undertone of existential unease. He hypothesized a dire eventuality, an ill-conceived experiment birthing a phenomenon termed vacuum instability. Such volatility might theoretically incite a phase transition, sending shockwaves across space-time's fabric. The aftermath? A universal cataclysm. Reflecting on Reese's conjectures, he attributed a probability to these doomsday scenarios, albeit a slender one. However, he contended that even a minuscule likelihood warrants circumspection. The stakes tower immensely high, with the leeway for missteps being vanishingly small. At CERN, scientists have scrutinized the probabilities, simulated outcomes, and dissected theories, all reinforcing the LHC's safety. Indeed, Brian Cox himself championed prudent exploration. He acknowledged prevalent anxieties about the LHC's endeavors, but underscored rigorous safety protocols, exhaustive evaluations, and stringent measures ensuring CERN's operations remain impeccable. Cox underscored that Earth routinely encounters the energies at play and the odds of birthing a stable black hole are infinitesimally small. Should one form, it would be ephemeral and volatile, vanishing in a burst of energy, a process Stephen Hawking termed Hawking radiation. It would stand as a transient cosmic marvel, a fleeting foray into the abyss before its inevitable dissolution. Some postulate that the LHC might unveil gateways to alternate universes or dimensions. While the scientific consensus largely rebuffs this, it remains a tantalizing notion, spawning intrigue, trepidation, and even myths. What mysteries lie beyond our grasp? Might we unwittingly summon forces beyond our comprehension? Media portrayals even sensationalize a portal leading to hell, fanning the flames of uncertainty. But from whence did this notion originate? And how does it align with our scientific pursuits? The concept of parallel dimensions isn't novel in physics. String theory, a contender for the grand unified theory, hypothesizes the existence of dimensions beyond the customary spatial trio and temporal singularity. Concealed from our senses, these dimensions might, under intense conditions, become discernible. Visualize the LHC as a celestial locksmith, decoding portals sealed since time's inception. When protons clash at unprecedented terrestrial energies, they might theoretically disturb space-time's very structure. Such perturbations could unveil gateways to other realms, akin to fissures in a cosmic barrier segregating us from the unfathomable. Such an event might be likened to a pebble disrupting a tranquil pond. Its entry generates ripples, waves interacting with their surroundings. Regarding the LHC, these ripples might denote dimensional disturbances, waves radiating into spheres beyond our perception. Yet CERN scientists are swift to clarify. The energy levels to craft such a portal likely surpass the LHC's capabilities. Venturing into other dimensions remains squarely within science fiction's purview. However, our audacity to even contemplate such horizons, to challenge our understanding's limits and gaze into the enigmatic void, epitomizes human curiosity and innovation. For CERN's intellectuals, it's a muted reminder. Certain revelations, once unveiled, might bear truths we're ill-equipped to confront. The LHC's experiments haven't merely spurred scientific and philosophical musings, but also ignited legal and ethical debates. Our attempts to emulate the universe's dawn, to delve into existence's primal essence, have sparked discussions transcending science's confines. Are we playing God? Are we treading on sacred ground, meddling with forces that were once the sole province of the cosmos? These aren't merely rhetorical questions, but deeply unsettling inquiries that challenge our very understanding of ethics and responsibility. The creation of a miniature black hole, for instance, isn't just a scientific curiosity, but a potential Pandora's box. Imagine a whirlpool sucking everything into its inescapable grasp, but on a cosmic scale. Some legal scholars and ethicists have questioned whether humanity has the right to take such risks, even in the pursuit of knowledge. 
Lawsuits have been filed seeking to halt the LHC's experiments, citing concerns about safety and the potential for catastrophic outcomes. The debates rage on, not just in courtrooms, but in the halls of academia, in the media, and around dinner tables. In 2008, a lawsuit was filed in Hawaii by Walter L. Wagner and Luis Sancho, who sought to halt the LHC's operations. They argued that the collider might produce planet-devouring black holes, or never-before-seen phenomena that could destroy not only Earth, but the entire universe. The lawsuit demanded a temporary restraining order against CERN, contending that the organization had failed to provide an environmental impact statement as required by U.S. law. Though the case was dismissed, it ignited a firestorm of debate and brought the LHC's potential risks into sharp focus across the Atlantic. In Germany, a teacher named Otto Rossler filed a complaint with the European Court of Human Rights, alleging that the LHC violated the right to life guaranteed by the European Convention on Human Rights. Rosler's concerns were rooted in the fear that the LHC could create microscopic black holes that might grow uncontrollably. Although both lawsuits were unsuccessful in the end, they form part of a broader movement of concern and skepticism surrounding the LHC. They reflected a deep-seated anxiety about the unknown, a fear that our pursuit of knowledge might lead us down a path from which there's no return. CERN was formed in the shadowed aftermath of World War II when the world was still licking its wounds, and the echoes of destruction were a haunting reminder of human folly. It was a time when the very fabric of society was torn, and from that chaos, a group of visionary scientists dared to dream. They envisioned a laboratory where the secrets of existence could be unlocked. Thus, CERN was conceived, a child of war and wisdom, a symbol of what humanity could achieve when driven by curiosity rather than conflict. Over the years, CERN has been at the forefront of particle physics, contributing to our understanding of the fundamental forces and particles that make up the universe. The organization has been involved in numerous groundbreaking discoveries, such as the discovery of neutral currents and the W and Z bosons, particles responsible for the weak nuclear force. The Higgs boson, a particle that gives other particles mass, was a theoretical ghost. Its existence was a puzzle that taunted scientists. CERN's relentless pursuit of this phantom led to a moment that shook the scientific world. In 2012, the Large Hadron Collider finally unveiled the God Particle. But the Higgs boson is not the only enigma being probed by CERN scientists. In an astonishing breakthrough, CERN's LHC has unveiled a particle that defies our conventional understanding of physics, the pentaquark. This particle, as its name suggests, is composed of five quarks, including an antiquark. The existence of such a particle was not anticipated in nature, making its discovery a testament to the unpredictable and often bewildering nature of the quantum world. These particles may exist for only a hundred thousandth of a billionth of a billionth of a second, but their implications could be eternal. Alongside the pentaquark, scientists have discovered new tetraquarks, particles made up of four quarks. These discoveries are reshaping our understanding of particle physics. Additionally, in May 2023, CERN's researchers made another significant discovery, the observation of a rare Higgs boson decay into two muons. These findings mark a significant step in confirming the properties of the Higgs boson. But the mysteries of the universe are far from solved. Just in April, CERN announced the discovery of a new particle, smaller than quarks and leptons. Subscribe to Brief Discovery and see you in the next one.